So I'm sitting here uh, thinking about something. Uh, I've been seeing it through my Facebook page about this coronavirus thing. And I don't spend a whole lot of time meditating or studying about that kind of stuff. I don't, I don't worry about things I can't control or, you know, I, Yahweh is my protector and provider and that, that's, you know, so. But my point is, is that I saw something come across my feed where somebody was making the statement that maybe it was because of the diet or what people ate in foreign countries, uh, foreign to, I guess, the country that we live in. And it showed somebody with a bat cooking like one of them bats. It was very disgusting. And, but I had a reason for it to be disgusting to me. And so I, I, got, I began to think, why do people, why would people turn their nose up at that? Like, we've got this saying about, you know, you're going to have to eat crow. Uh, meaning that you, you thought you were right, you found out you were wrong, you were proven wrong, you have to crawfish or backtrack and you have to eat crow. And we say that because crow is nasty. Um, you can look up videos on the internet about people actually trying it out and it's just it's just nasty you know so but why is it that we wouldn't want to eat crow we turn our nose up at crow or we turn our nose up at bat but yet um, we would uh, eat let's say like a crawfish or we would eat let's say like a alligator I saw some alligator jerky in a store not long ago I thought to myself what in the world are people doing so, uh, but yet we wouldn't eat dog. Why? Why would we not eat dog? Why would we? Why would we raise a cow from a little calf up to a, a, a big grown cow bull, and then we would slaughter it for meat and have steaks? But we wouldn't do that with the dog. We wouldn't buy a little puppy um, and then raise it up and then slaughter the the dog to eat. Why would we eat the one and not the other? Now, if you are a, a nominal Christian and you believe that the dietary laws in the Bible, like in Leviticus 11 and Deuteronomy 14, if you believe that they've been done away with, why would you not eat your dog? Why would you not eat bat? Why would you turn your nose up at bat? Why would you turn your nose up at crow? Just pray over it. Don't worry about any diseases it might carry. Don't worry, don't worry about no coronavirus or, or whatever it might be carrying. And just eat it. Pray over it. Bless it eat it, everything's okay. It doesn't make any sense. I have a reason why I would not eat my dog, but why I would eat one of my chickens down there in my chicken pen. Or I would uh, grow a calf up to a, a big bull and then slaughter it and eat it for the next year. And it's because Yahweh has designated in his law that certain animals are allowed to be eaten and are considered to be food and other animals are not. And so if it's on the menu that Yahweh outlines in Leviticus and Deuteronomy, then I would partake of it for my meal. But if it's not on the menu, then I do turn my nose up at it because it's not normal for me to eat that. And so I would turn my nose up at not just bat and crow, but I turn my nose up at camel or pig or uh, crawfish or lobster or something like that. So we have to have a reason. And if you don't follow the dietary laws, you really don't have a reason not to eat your dog or your cat. You will have to be backed into a corner and say, well, it's okay if we go out and slaughter the family dog or the family horse. And then we have a meal. You have to say that. This is the consequence of denying the holy law of Yahweh. Deny the holy law of Yahweh, and you have to say that it's okay to eat your dog. Something to think about. Have a good day. Shalom.